Okay, I'm going to show you how the new SDFJ Global Illumination works in Godot 4 in a pretty big uh, open world game. So this is a very big level, uh, it's very simple with white materials, you just can see how the actual light happens. Uh, so this is inside of a cave, we're going to come out. We'll just walk around, just with a bit faster. So as you can see, this town has uh, fully global illuminated. It has light bounces. Uh, this is like just again the flat lighting, just diffuse lighting. As you can see, there is very small fades when you move around. This is because of cascades. Uh, the idea is that there's like configure here six cascades uh, at different resolutions. Uh, they become um, like more more detail when you're close and less detail when you're far away. Uh, this helps work with a very very large or infinitely large level, so you just can't move away and re cascades are regenerated. I will explain how this works a bit later. So as you can see, uh, this new system is pretty cool because uh, it can keep interiors dark as much as possible. Uh, of course, to get the best results, you probably should make like the walls thicker, at least for the kind of cascades you're using. But you can see that for the most part, it works very well. It keeps light away when you're inside interiors that should be dark. You can see all this is indirect lighting. So this global illumination is just automatic. You just turn it on here. You can say turn it off and I turn it on. And it just works, you don't really have to do anything. It's simply as this, you don't have to do any configuration. Of course, it's as I mentioned before, it's better if you make the art design for this, but in general, it just works. It, it has really good uh, occlusion for the interior, so you can make interiors and they will not be overlit or anything like that. Like you can see like this train station here, it's completely dark. And you, has, you can see the light bones is centering here and the train that is about to set off. Like this house, it has like op more open windows. And it kind of just works. As I mentioned, you have to be with the fades. Uh, you can see when you move, there's very, well, not, not right now. You can see very slight fades when you move around. Like you can see very slight fades, things that get lit or darkened. This is normal because you're switching cascade. So as you can see here, let me show you the cascades. These are pretty much the cascades. You may not notice, but when you get close to stuff, they start getting more detail. This actually is the cascade switching. You can see the far away stuff. It gets less detail and the close stuff has more detail. So when you get close to something, it gets more detail. So the lighting works better when you, things are far away. Can you actually see them? This is just the cascades updating in real time. So as I explained in the previous video, the cascades are useful, so they can bake the lighting into these probes. They are also infinite. You can just go around. They tell you what the lighting around is, and this is used to be pasted to geometry. We get into the cave, it gets really dark. I can't see anything. So it's mm, probably a, an exit somewhere. Can you see the exit? Yep. Oh, nice, a flying uh, balloon or something. So yeah, this is basically the way it works. There's this building for a while, we can get close to it. And when we enter, we can see it has nice interiors that are properly lit, has multiple floors, you can go upstairs. There's, this goes upstairs, right? So we can go upstairs or something like that. Uh, there's stairs. Uh, it's too complicated. Let's just fly away. So let me show you something else before we're done with this video. You can see just walk around. You have glow illumination everywhere. Should work pretty cool. So you may be wondering if this is only diffuse lighting, like when you do light mapping or when you use like other solutions like Enlighten, which are only for diffuse lighting. Uh, actually, no, this actually can do reflections on rock lighting. So let me see. There's a measure right here. Let's modify it. 
uh, let's lower roughness and let's raise metallic so you can see it better oh whoops you can see that there's a fully reflected world here everything is being reflected everywhere All right. the reflections are SDF so it's not exactly geometry that is completely exact but you can see that it looks pretty cool you can just go around and everything can be reflective you can have a re reflective floor and it's going to reflect the environment uh, you can use rock reflections this is something you probably can't get with ray tracing which is pretty cool so if you increase roughness you can see that the reflections become rock and it's like automatic so this is a pretty cool effect you can you can pretty much use any kind of PVR materials on everything and they are going to look pretty cool so yeah well that's it i hope it was nice for you bye bye